Hey Virgo, it's me Stormy and here's your horoscope for June 2018 and Virgo, yes we have got a Mars retrograde going on this month but we'll talk about that in a second because this month your career and professional life just get hit with such a beautiful new moon this month that there are definite opportunities coming your way. I mean don't be surprised if you actually have more than one opportunity that comes your way or some kind of um, communication related opportunity in your career. Those kinds of things or just communication in general in your career are going to do really well and be really sound right now. So it's an absolutely beautiful month for that. And as we end the month, we're ending the month with energies in your fifth house. So while we'll be ending something about your self-expression, maybe something with children or around children or something in your expression, um, you're also starting something brand new. So this could be a brand new conversation about any of those things. So it's going to be a really delicious month. I want to jump in and let's just start to talk about it from top to bottom, okay? Right at the beginning of the month here on the 12th, we've got Mercury, who's your ruling planet in the first place, joining Venus over here in the sign of Cancer. Now, this is lighting up your 11th house so beautiful for organizations, group, social things, things with friends, re-looking at your long-range plans, goals, dreams, desires, those kinds of things. But where I think that this gets really delicious for you with Mercury here, especially because it is your ruling planet and you're so comfortable with it is if you're needing to make a presentation to a group you're wanting to do some networking um, you know we're coming into summertime maybe you're wanting to get together with friends this is just such a wonderfully delicious energy to help you with any kind of communications and things like that and this is a really great energy I think for you to dig your gushy fingernails in or your fingertips I guess at the beginning of the month because when we hit this retrograde time I think you're definitely gonna feel this energy shift and I don't know that you're going to like it as much, okay? Now, when we get to the 13th, we have this new moon happening in Gemini, lighting up the 10th house for you. And like I'm saying, Gemini is a communication planet, right? It is also the other planet ruled by Mercury. So I do feel like this energy is something easy for you to work in, which is interesting because where I feel like the big difference comes for you is that even though Gemini is also ruled by Mercury naturally. Gemini is an air sign. So for you as an earth sign, this is actually going to have you moving, thinking, talking, planting these seeds of opportunity that we do at the new moon in a different way in your career. You might be talking about doing something in your career that you've never done before or something you never thought you'd be a part of or something like that. But it's very interesting, beautiful, airy kind of energy, I think, for you to be able to work with. Now, on the same day, we've got Venus moving into Leo. So lighting up a little bit of a quieter space in your chart, right? It's a, we're lighting up the 12th house space where for me, I feel like you're getting some closure on something. It could even be closure on something in a relationship, um, closure on something in your finances. Um, for some of you, what I also think too, you do need to be careful with Venus in Leo. Um, this can be a fair-esque kind of energy, so please be mindful of that. But this can also be the energy where you're beautifying, putting some finishing touches or something like that on a project or something that you wanna roll out um, as we continue to move through the rest of the season. So really a nice energy, I think. Now on the 18th, Neptune is going to go retrograde over here in Pisces. And even though that Neptune is an outer planet, so we don't feel its influence as intensely, it's still legit. It still means something for you. This is happening in Pisces, so in your seventh house. This is bringing some spirituality. This is bringing compassion. This is bringing creativity. This is bringing that impossible fantasy oh my gosh where did this come from kind of energy to the table and it's very subtle in your relationships where I think this helps you is this is an unconditional love kind of energy so for you you could be looking back at past relationships where do you need to apply some unconditional love where do you need to apply some forgiveness right where does there need to be a little bit more spiritual cleanup connection and things like that whatever it is Neptune's influence will be subtle but you will work on this until November now on the 21st, the sun moves into Cancer. Yes, we're at summer solstice. In Western astrology, we do not follow the constellations. We follow the season. So this is a new season, Virgo. And you've just had a new moon at the top of your career. You're getting some good love over here in the 12th house space. Your communication is on fleek. This is a wonderful time just a few months before birthday time to say, what do I want this to be? What do I want this to look like? Which direction am I taking this thing, right? And 
which friends am I taking with me as well? Now, the sun moving into here and bringing this new season also gives me the indication of new friends, new organizations, new social things. Maybe you're finding yourself on social media or someplace where a mass group of people can see you, interact with you, and you didn't really expect that. But you're going to want to shine bright with whatever you're doing here in this 11th house. So really a lovely energy. And at the same time, on the same, dot, so same day, Venus and Mars are taking their annual opposition to each other. Where this is lovely is that it's helping you see things from a different perspective. Somewhere between this 12th house and this 6th house, you've got to come at this from a different perspective, right? Your daily routine, your health, your wellness, your work situation it gets to have a lot of spirituality loaded into it and move in a way that you did not plan and this energy helps you see it from a different perspective which is lovely now on the 26th we have that Mars retrograde happening gonna go all the way until August 27th so Mars is gonna be retrograde in the sign of Aquarius which for you lands right here square in the sixth house now this is why I say I think you feel this a little bit more Virgo because the sixth house is first of all the house that you naturally rule its habits its daily routines its work its scheduling its details it's a very detail oriented house and Mars is our energy of action right we do stuff and you like to plan you like to organize you like to get it together right you like to know what's happening what's coming and when Mars is taking a nap over here when he's slowed down you cannot the schedule is not gonna go by your timing and you have really got to adjust to that quick in the month so that as we land on the 26th you're not finding yourself in heated battles of frustration especially internal ones because i know you you like to look good but you could be going crazy on the inside so adjust now you are not going to be able to bully Mars or bully Kronos or time into moving any more quickly. The schedules are going to have to be reorganized. You're going to have to relook at what you're doing in your daily routine. That's the beauty of this retrograde, right? Because it is retrograde and it says, what are you giving your action to? Why are you giving your action there? What are you putting energy into, right? All of these kinds of questions. Why do you have a desire for that? Why does that have to be a part of your life? These are beautiful questions to answer and to relook at and to reorganize, restructure um, especially with health as well right if your health is needing a little bit of attention during a Mars retrograde is a great time to look at the strategies you've been using to be healthy including mental health as well so this is a retrograde to celebrate not be afraid of but be mindful you're not going to be able to push things along in your own timing it's just not going to happen on the 28th we've got this full moon happening over here in Capricorn lighting up the fifth house space remember the full moon says something has to be ended acknowledged or adjusted so we are going to have a shift here now the fifth house is about children um, conception um, self-expression true love taking a risk right any of those gambling any of those things fall into the fifth house and here you're going to need to make some kind of adjustment and this adjustment along with the adjustment that the Mars retrograde is trying to get you to get into and to shift with are about making it so you arrive on the other side of these energies the best version of yourself and not just the best version but the best version with the best strategy there are some ideas philosophies um, beliefs you're gonna have to let go because they don't fit the current world that you're in right so it's time to let them go and get a new expression now the full moon ending changing or acknowledging leaves an immediate beginning at your fingertips as well so over the next four weeks you can see some things ending but they're gonna have an immediate new beginning as well so maybe even some Something you never thought was possible or you've been hoping and hanging on to could be delivering itself at this full moon as well now on the 29th your ruling planet mercury is going to enter into leo again joining venus here for a little chat and conversation i'm going to be there for quite some time because we're going to do a mercury retrograde here as well but this is happening again in your 12th house so now i like the detailedness of mercury in the 12th house for you because if there is a project or a desire or something you've been wanting to do you can be working on it behind the scenes and getting it ready to launch out and move forward if this is something about your spirituality your meditation practice how are you tapping in daily um, things you need to um, close get closure on things you need to let go of forgiveness falls in this house as well mercury is here and it is very clear he is not retrograde only mars is retrograde along with everybody else but mercury is not retrograde so you're clear and you're perceptive and able to really really work 
in this house and Venus is also there bringing some harmony so whatever it is you're coming out and coming around the the other side of it with a lot of clarity I think in your back pocket and with Mars retrograde you're getting a strategy together so that you can move out and move forward in your overall routines to make yourself the most successful and where does this show up for you I really think it's in that professional and career life for sure so you'll have to keep me posted click it in the um, comment section down below I'd love to know how this month plays out for you like this video comment share subscribe and I will see you beautiful Virgos in July 